What's up, real world? Twisted luck. Hope everybody's good. Thanks for being here. I always appreciate you. Uh, we're gonna go through that light. Uh, we made it. We made it. It was it was iffy. I had enough time to get through one that was still yellow, but we made it. It's all right. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. I already said that. Um, but guess what? You remember those purple street lights? Well, they're back in the news again. And they're back in the news again. Why they're back in the news again is, is what makes me curious. Because what they're saying in the local news, again, is exactly what they have said here and there when it pops up when somebody notices over the past few years. So what they're saying in this article is, uh, well, why are streetlights turning purple, you might ask? Well, don't worry. Uh, it's, it's a manufacturer's de- defect that only just recently was identified. And uh, they're working diligently to uh, get them replaced pretty soon. And uh, they, they talk about the, the brand, Acuity Brands, which I did all that homework, right? And if you remember, this is the story that I uncovered in, I don't know, what was it? Was it 2020? 2021? It was at least two, if not three years ago when we first started talking about these purple lights, right? And when you could find a local news story, they said the exact same thing. Oh, it was recently identified as a, as a manufacturer's defect, and we're going to take care of it. We're going to fix it. Don't worry. Um, we're aware of it, and uh, it's not going to cost the taxpayers anything. The manufacturer's going to cover all the costs, and we're going to get right on that. So we haven't seen that change yet, right? We haven't. The only change that I've seen is some of the purple lights that I used to see now can switch between purple and white. That's the only difference that I've seen. And you would think if this was identified, it's definitely over two years ago, right? If it was identified over two years ago and they were getting right on it, we wouldn't be seeing these purple lights anymore all over the country. And this is just a little Florida local story. And before, if you remember, we saw the the exact same identical local stories pop up all over the United States and even in UK and other places to make it sound as if this is just one localized area. It even says in this article that it affects about 2000 lights. Well, we know for a fact it affects way more than 2000 lights. And, uh, we also know that it's, uh, very likely no defect at all, and they are what they are exactly intended to be. But why? Why did they pop up in the news again? That's what's curious. So either people are making a stink about it, or more are coming up. Uh, they, they may be putting more up. More may be going up in areas where people are going to notice it, and they're trying to get ahead of it. So, and this is like what we talked about before. You know, if they put that story out there, and you've never seen these before, and there's a lot of people that just don't pay, don't pay attention, or maybe people in areas where they don't have these yet. If they get a little bit ahead of it, and then people, you know, you're going to notice a purple streetlight, like, whoa, that's, it stands out. And they'll be like, oh, yeah, I read a story about that. Look at that. What a coincidence. These are some of those bad ones they talked about. Saw a news story. They said a uh, manufacturer's defect. They're going to get right on it. They're going to they're going to fix this right up. So it seems that they put these articles out there right when new batches of purple lights come out. Because still, I mean, two, three years in, why, you tell me, why would they still be working on it? If, if, and they did, they, they said in, initially when we first started talking about these, when I first dug into these um, way back before anybody noticed these damn things, uh, they said, the exact same thing. Manufacturer's defect, getting right on it. I even got with DOT and well, if you've been here for a while, you you remember everything that I did. And I tracked down the manufacturer, uh, Acuity Brands, who seems to make all of the streetlights globally. Um, And we talked about how if it was true, if there were that many defective products and the manufacturer was going to cover the total cost and you're talking about, now I forget, 
the cost for each one. I think it was like $3,000 per light. Um, but don't quote me because I don't remember. I've got the paperwork somewhere, but I forget. So, But then you're talking about labor, right? And we're talking about hundreds of thousands, at least, of these lights. That would crush a company if that were true. If they're eating all of the costs for their defect, that would absolutely destroy a company. But there's no mention of that. Acuity seems to be doing just fine. Almost seems like there's no defect that they have to pay out on. But that would be crazy talk, probably, right? So it almost seemed like they've been fibbing to us, like they're not telling us the truth. Who would ever think that they wouldn't tell us the truth? I don't know. So I'm curious um, if anybody, the reason I'm putting this out there, I'm curious to see if anybody's seeing any new ones in any areas, if you're seeing the news articles too. Because obviously, why, why would they say the exact same thing two or three years later? It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. And we've all had theories. Um, we've had some, there's a few different theories for what they may actually be for, uh, used for, used with. And there are some pretty common theories that a lot of people share. The thing, and this is again something else, that there are some people who they are sure that they are certain what they're for. And, uh, you know, we have strong theories, but the fact of the matter is nobody definite, definitively knows what these are for. Um, it's odd that some of them can change back and forth. Like a lot of the ones that I used and a lot of the footage that you've seen, uh, it was just a good area to film. Um, after some time, there was, I told you this a while back, but I went back to them once and they were, they were white. I happened to drive by and they were white and I was like, holy crap, they were just purple yesterday. There wasn't time to change them. And then a few hours later, uh, driving back through, they were purple. And then I've seen that switch a couple of times now. Uh, so they go back and forth. Can they be switched? Uh, are they remote control? Who knows? But they can definitely go back and forth. And the bottom line is the official narrative that these are a mistake, that this is a defect, and don't worry about it, nothing to see here, we're, we're on top of it. It just, this is even more evidence that that's just not true. Again, the, and as a matter of fact, this same news outlet ran that identical story two, at least two years ago, just letting people know, hey, this just popped up. I know if you're noticing this, hey, th this was just now discovered. And uh, it's just a small little issue, and we're taking care of it. Don't worry. Uh, the manufacturer's taking care of every bit of it. Don't worry. We're on top of it. It'll be fixed anytime now. So, again, that's just to quell the mind that doesn't think any further, right? That doesn't look into things. They might notice it and be like, well, that's weird. Then see the news story. Or they may see the news story, then see it and be like, oh, and remember the news story. And then it just becomes normal to them, right? They continue to see them years later and they're still purple, but people are just like, dirt, dirt, right? We're like, oh, no big deal. Why? You tell me why. If the official narrative is true, and there's always, you know, a person or two that comes through and argues, it's just a manufacturer defect, just like the news said, and they're like parrots. This is exactly what these people are supposed to say. That's the intention by the media. So the media can be like, manufacturer defect, and then the people who follow the media can be like, right, manufacturer defect, right? You know, just like Jim Brewer, his whole thing, which was incredibly funny. <laughs> um, but that's what they want. But it's just, why? You tell me why, if the official narrative is true, why are we two, three years in, no change, and they still randomly say the same thing? So you let me know what you're seeing in your area. You still seeing more and more of these pop up? Um, are you seeing these local news stories making us sound like a, just a little tiny thing? No big deal, not widespread. Nothing to see here, folks. We're taking care of it. We're on top of it. You just uh, keep moseying along now. And uh, or, or what do you think? Do you think this is a sign that we're going to start seeing more and that's they're getting ahead of it? I don't know. I don't know. But I think we're going to find out. I think we'll find out. One thing we know for sure, they are not telling us the truth. And by them continuing to not tell us the truth is evidence that they're not telling us the truth. But then again, we're crazy and we think for ourselves. So who knows? So share your thoughts. I appreciate you. Thanks for being here. Twisted Love Truth. I'll see you soon.